welcome to two projects in this video we are going to explain the project knowledge guided attention and graph convolutional networks for chemical disease relation extraction introduction the project focuses on automating the extraction of chemical disease relations that is cdr from the extensive biomedical literature by leveraging advanced techniques the aim is to convert unstructured text into structured tuples enhancing medical knowledge mapping clinical diagnosis and supporting various medical studies in the vast realm of biomedicine the wealth of medical literature holds valuable information on chemical disease relations while existing knowledge bases like comparative toxicogenomic database that is ctd exist many cdrs remain undiscovered so the project addresses this gap by developing an automated system to extract cdrs from biomedical texts contributing to efficient knowledge utilization so the project employs both feature based and neural network based methods for cdr extraction feature based methods involve extracting lexical and syntactic information to construct feature vectors while neural network based methods including convolutional neural networks and long short term memory automate feature extraction through deep learning additionally attention mechanisms and graph convolutional networks that is gcn are explored for enhanced extraction so the outcomes of this project have far reaching benefits for pharmaceutical companies medical institutions and the public automating cdr extraction streamlines the conversion of vast biomedical text into valuable structured information this contributes to improved clinical diagnosis comprehensive medical knowledge and facilitates various medical studies ultimately enhancing the efficiency and quality of healthcare objective of the project so as i mentioned earlier this project focuses on developing an automated system to extract chemical disease relations that is cdr from the vast biomedical literature by leveraging advanced techniques the goal is to convert unstructured text into structured tuples contributing to efficient medical knowledge mapping clinical diagnosis and supporting various medical studies the significance lies in streamlining information extraction providing valuable insights for the healthcare domain and the objective is to compare the performance of by lstm cnn pert kga agn and kga agn models in chemical disease relation that is cdr extraction tasks this evaluation aims to identify the strengths and weaknesses of each model offering insights into their suitability for distinct aspects of cdr extraction and this comparative analysis contributes to refining methodologies in biomedical text analysis and the project aims to enhance chemical disease relation extraction by integrating domain knowledge The focus is on training entity and relation embeddings a process where the model learns to represent chemical and disease entities and the relationships between them in a continuous vector space employing attention mechanisms the model captures weighted contextual information enhancing the understanding of complex relationships additionally the use of graph convolutional networks that is gcn facilitates encoding document level syntactic dependency graphs crucial for accurate cross sentence cdr extraction this integration of domain specific knowledge is pivotal for improving the accuracy and depth of biomedical information extraction requirements needed to execute this project are software requirements software needed is anaconda primary language used is python front end framework used is flask back end framework used is jupyter notebook database used is sql lite 3 and front end technologies used are html css javascript and bootstrap 4 hardware requirements needed are operating system of windows processor of i5 and above ram of 8 gb and above and hard disk of 25 gb and above now we'll discuss the working modules of law of work so the first step is important required packages so this step involves importing essential python packages such as numpy pandas matplotlib tensorflow keras and nltk These libraries are fundamental for data manipulation, visualization, and natural language processing tasks. The second step is exploring the dataset. Here, the chemical disease relation that is CDR data is explored to understand its structure and contents. This involves examining the data's features, distribution, and any initial patterns. 
The third step is visualization. In this step, word clouds are employed for visualizing word frequency, offering an intuitive representation of commonly used terms. Additionally, sample outcome displays are employed to gain insights into the data's structure and contents. The next step is data processing. So data pre-processing is crucial for refining the text data. This involves removing URLs and other unwanted characters, punctuation, stop words, and normalization of the data through techniques like lemmatization and stemming. These steps aim to clean and standardize the text for further analysis. The next step is tokenization. Tokenization involves breaking down the text into smaller units such as words or subwords for further analysis. This step is performed using different tokenization methods including Torch, Keras Tokenizer and Bird Tokenizer catering to various model requirements. The next step is feature selection. In this step, relevant features are selected based on their significance for subsequent analysis. This step is crucial for optimizing model performance and reducing dimensionality. The next step is splitting the data to train and test. In this step, the data set is split into training and testing sets to facilitate model training and evaluation. This ensures that the models are tested on independent data to assess the generalization performance. The next one is training and building the models. So training involves building models such as by LSTM, CNN, BERT, KGA, AGN and KGA, AGN, each serving a unique purpose in the CDR extraction task. The goal is to explore diverse architectures and methodologies for optimal performance. And in the next step, as an extension to the project, hybrid models are constructed by combining predictions from multiple individual models. This ensemble approach aims to enhance predictive accuracy and robustness. And as an extension again, a user-friendly frontend is developed using the Flask framework. And the Flask framework coupled with SQLite for user sign-up and sign-in functionality facilitates user interaction. So after signing in, users input biomedical text. So input from users undergoes pre-processing and trained models are utilized for predictions. In addition to CDR extraction, a topic modeling technique, latent Dirichlet allocation that is LDA, is applied to identify underlying themes in the text data. So the user-friendly frontend displays the final outcomes, providing users with valuable insights generated through the implemented models and topic modeling contributing to efficient biomedical information extraction. Now we'll understand about the algorithms used. So the first algorithm built is by LSTM, that is bi-directional long short term memory. So by LSTM is a type of recurrent neural network designed to process and understand sequential data bi-directionally. Unlike traditional LSTMs, by LSTM considers both past and future context, making it adept at capturing intricate patterns and relationships within sequential data. In this project, by LSTM plays a crucial role in analyzing the sequential nature of biomedical text facilitating a nuanced understanding of chemical disease relations. The next algorithm built is CNN, that is convolutional neural network. So CNNs are deep learning models particularly effective in image and text processing. In the context of this project, CNNs serve as powerful feature extractors. They scan the biomedical text, identifying relevant patterns and features essential for discerning CDR. By leveraging convolutional layers, CNNs efficiently capture hierarchical representations, enhancing the model's ability to recognize complex relationships. The next algorithm built is KGA AGN, that is Knowledge Guided Attention and Graph Convolutional Networks. So KGA AGN, our hybrid model, integrates knowledge guided attention mechanisms and graph convolutional networks. The attention mechanisms focus on relevant information, while graph convolution enhances the model's ability to capture dependencies and connections between words. This dual approach ensures a comprehensive understanding of chemical disease relations, incorporating both knowledge awareness and graph-based comprehension. And the last algorithm built is BERT KGA AGN. So BERT is a transformer-based language model renowned for its contextual understanding of words in a sentence. 
when coupled with kga agn it elevates the model's comprehension of intricate relationships within cdr bert's pre-trained language knowledge enables our model to grasp the contextual nuances of biomedical text contributing to a more informed interpretation of chemical disease associations now we'll see the comparison graphs so this is the horizontal bar graph comparing accuracy scores of different algorithms in this graph on x axis i have accuracy scores and on y axis i have algorithm names so accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances so here lstm combined with gru and lstm combined with by gru are the extension models to the project and this is the precision scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have precision scores and on y axis i have algorithm names precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct this is recall scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have recall scores and on y axis i have algorithm names recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted and this is f1 scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have f1 scores and on y axis i have algorithm names f1 score combines precision and recall into a single metric balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions so the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions execution of the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so these are all model files which contain algorithm information these files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models this is static folder it consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it typically includes files like index.html about.html etc which represent different pages of the website this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML pages. And this is topic modeling Python main code file. This is Notebook Jupyter source file, which contains a combination of code, graphs, and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells, making it a popular choice for data science. This is processed CSV file in which I have pre-processed data stored. This is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. So now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I am copying it. Open Anaconda prompt. So use the command cd followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button. So this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path. Now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py. I am typing python space app.py and hit the enter button. So this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues. After running the app.py file, the Flask framework will host the application locally at the default address. local host and port unless configured differently now copy the local link provided by the framework i'm copying it and paste it into any web browser i prefer chrome after pasting it hit the enter button so the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flask framework so here we can see a sign up link click on it So if you are new users we have to register first fill in all these details and click on sign up button to register and if we already have an account we can directly log in by clicking on this link so as i already have an account i'm clicking on this link so here we have to provide a credentials username and password and click on login button so it has redirected us to the classification page So here we can see a enter your message box where we have to enter a biomedical text and the application will classify it as either bad or good. 
So I have entered this message. Now click on predict button. It will take some time to load. So this is the uploaded message. And here we can see the classification that is the CDA type is bad. So bad that means there is no significant relationship between given chemical and disease pair. And here we can see the topic for the paragraph is most dependent upon. So dependent upon these words, the application has classified this biomedical text as bad. Now click on home link. We'll try giving another biomedical text. So I have entered this biomedical text. Now click on predict button. So this is the given message. And here we can see the classification that is the CDA type is good. So good indicates that there is a meaningful relationship between given chemical and disease pair. And here we can see the topic for the paragraph is most dependent upon these words. So dependent upon these words, the application has classified this biomedical text as good. So similarly, we can input any biomedical text and can get the classifications. Now click on sign out. So the conclusion here is the project achieves a milestone by seamlessly integrating sophisticated algorithms like by LSTM, CNN, BERT, KGA, AGN and KGA, AGN. This comprehensive approach ensures a thorough analysis of biomedical texts, facilitating nuanced extraction of chemical disease relations. The incorporation of Flask framework with user authentication in the project's front end enhances user accessibility. The developed application allows users to input biomedical data undergo pre-processing and receive model prediction seamlessly. This user-friendly interface promotes practical utility in real-world scenarios. And the project's extension to explore hybrid models like LSTM combined with by GRU and LSTM combined with GRU showcases a commitment to robust predictive performance. By combining individual model predictions, the project aims for enhanced accuracy and reliability, addressing the intricacies of CDR extraction comprehensively. In addition to CDR extraction, the project adopts a holistic approach by incorporating latent Dirichlet allocation, that is LDA, for topic modeling. This enriches the analysis for uncovering latent topics within biomedical texts, providing a broader understanding of the information contained in the dataset. So this project marks a significant stride in automating CDR extraction, benefiting medical research and diagnosis. Its outcomes promise advancements in pharmaceuticals and healthcare optimization, providing a strong foundation for future innovations in AI and biomedicine. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.